fashion special, step into a world of unique shoe design and meet a pioneer, leading today's battle against boring shoes. Heavy orthopedic looking shoes, like those you've been subjected to for the past three years. I can't bear them. I see young girls trying to walk, oh my god. You feel like helping them. What's wrong with footwear made by big name designers? What's wrong is that they're not shoemakers. It isn't their job. Their job is making clothes. In her stores, Maria Luisa does her job, taking her clients by the hand or by the shoe. If I had to pack a case in tremendous haste, there'd be three pairs of shoes in it and just one or two outfits. A change of shoes is like night and day. Depending on the switch, you're in afternoon wear or evening dress. And the shoe news is that Maria Luisa is launching a few unique models from Ferragamo's museum in Florence, re-editing 150 pairs of limited editions from the shoes of the 20s to the 50s. You have to have feet like the stars who wore the originals, Ingrid Bergman or Audrey Hepburn. This shoe was never intended to be standardized. It could have been made wider in order to fit more women, but no, it remains a style that is intended for a slender-footed woman only. Maria Luisa stocks other prominent shoemakers, including Manolo Blanink. Born in the Canaries, he studied literature in Geneva and art in Paris. He launched his first store in London in 73. His shoes first appeared in Sex and the City. Everything that appears heavy elsewhere is better like with him. It's a question of proportion. He's a designer who will create the whole line of the leg. Every shoe creates a silhouette. Hugely popular in the US and Asia, Blanink is less well known in Europe. He's now breaking into the French market via the Printemps. His best advertisement is his niece, Christina. I have grown up with them. I used to come home from school every day and at 3.30 and go and sit in the shop upstairs doing my homework and watching people like Grace Jones come in late in the evening and singing her songs with Manolo and dancing and so yeah I've seen it from the early 80s through to now. Christina Blanink is an architect. Shoe design comes to her as naturally as building a house. When it comes to proportion and detailing and structure there are a lot of the skill bases that I've learnt through architecture that have translated very well into, into the production of shoes and into the understanding of shoes. So what can we hope to expect from shoes? True elegance, perfection, quality and fun. A lot of fun. We have a lot of fun doing it. Elegance, perfection, quality, fun. All these are in the shoes.